A friend asks you for a personal loan. Should you give it? In this video, I'll provide some best practices for lending money to a loved one without hurting the relationship. This week's question is inspired by Colette. She writes in and asks, Hey Farnoosh, my good friend is in between jobs and she has asked if I can help her cover a few of her household bills while she gets back on her feet. She's asking me for $1,000. You know, I have the money in my savings account, but I would want to be sure to be repaid. How should I best proceed? Okay, borrowing money between friends. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is gonna get a little sticky, potentially. Okay, I, I need to borrow some money. Oh, I don't know, Monica. You know, um, lending friends money is always a mistake. But Chandler lent you money. And I think he would tell you it was a mistake. <laughs> Especially when it's hundreds or thousands of dollars. I need it for some rent and, and some other bills. Oh, uh, well, how much? $2,000. $2,000? Even if you have the money to spare, it doesn't mean that this financial move assumes no risks. If your friend doesn't pay you back, how would you feel? Would you care? Or would you be resentful? Might have hurt feelings? A recent survey by our friends at Bankrate finds that after lending a loved one money, more than a third of people never got paid back. And one in five, in fact, said their relationship was hurt in the process. So there you go. There's a good chance that this deal and your relationship can turn sour. So if like Colette, you find yourself at this crossroads trying to figure out whether to lend or not to lend, let's walk through this and do it together to figure out the best path. And no matter how you decide, I think we can all agree that the goal here is to strike a nice balance between your finances and your friendship. All right, let's begin by first gathering some more details about your friend's loan request. So turn to your friend and ask her, ask him, how will this money be helpful to you? How do you plan to recover the funds? How long will you need the money? In other words, uh, when might I be uh, getting paid back? I know that it may feel a little nosy to ask your friend these somewhat personal questions, but I would guess that a good friend would be prepared and should understand that if she's asking you for money, you may naturally have some follow-up questions. But if your friend becomes defensive or makes you feel awkward or insensitive for coming up with these questions, well, I'll tell you this, that's a red flag. And you know, the game, according to me, is over at this point. And I've got a quick script later on for how to gently let your friend down. But I do think that it's important to ask these questions, not only because they provide some context for you and some assurance, but by asking these questions, you also send the important message to your friend that if you're gonna lend this money, you wanna walk into this scenario with eyes wide open. You don't want any surprises, no misunderstandings. Now, let's assume that Colette's friend understands this, she answers all the questions, she's happy to answer any other questions you have, and explains that the money will help to pay for part of her rent, it's gonna to go towards groceries, some bills, and that you, know, you can probably expect repayment in about a month or two. Now, if you're comfortable with that explanation, you have the ability to lend all or some of the money, then it's my advice that the next step involves the two of you working together to map out a simple plan with the details. And I'm gonna talk through that outline shortly. But if you're not okay with the details around the loan for whatever reason, maybe you realize, you know what, I don't really think I'm gonna get repaid. I don't trust my friend. I like my friend, I don't trust them in this case. Maybe you realize, I can't part with the money. I really need to keep a hold of my savings. You know what, no need to explain your reason to your friend. You can say no. And in that same breath, I would suggest offering a friendly alternative. And you can say something to the effect of, you know, I'd really like to help, but while I can't provide the money right now, is there another way that I can help? For example, you might be able to help your friend cover some expenses, finding ways to reduce existing bills, renegotiating terms with a creditor, or suggesting let's move debt over to a 0% transfer balance card. This is all very friendly, extremely helpful advice. You could even start a Kickstarter on behalf of your friend. In this case with Colette's friend, if she needs help with groceries, well, could Colette offer to bring over some meals during the week? Now, I know that's not the same as giving cold, hard cash, but the friendly thing to do here is to discuss alternatives and other ways that you can help her help herself. You might come up with some great solutions together. 
Now, if you do prefer to lend the cash, let's go back to those details. And this is really important. Get the details in writing. Explain to your friend that you'd be happy to help and to make things really simple and clear for the both of you, you recommend drafting a quick agreement outlining the plan. Now, what is in this loan agreement? So for starters, it should have the date, obviously, your full names, addresses, and a few sentences describing the plan, specifically the dollar amount of the loan, the repayment schedule, and maybe even any interest that you want to charge. If this is a lot of money over a long period of time, maybe you do want to tack on some interest. Be sure to also clarify the method for repayment, whether that's cash, check, auto deposit, PayPal, Venmo, whatever works for the two of you. If you want the loan agreement to have a little more legalese and be a little bit more official, a little more buttoned up, well, there are free templates that you can download on sites like NOLO and rocketlawyer.com. Now, of course, we would all love to be in a position to help out friends and family without question, right? Some of us prefer to give unconditionally, but that's not really what we're talking about here. Giving money to a friend, no strings attached, that's not really lending, right? That is gifting. And if this is how you feel and you can really afford to give, well, don't let me be the one to stop you. Just wrap that cash up in a nice big bow, give it as a gift and go straight to the finish line here. However, if you do want and expect to be repaid by your friend, and I don't blame you, then you want to have these details established ahead of time. It's still no guarantee that you'll get paid back, but a co-signed agreement is an important step. It's an important formality that you can each reference in case there's any confusion over how and when the loan is to be repaid. It's good for both parties. But alas, if you're just not feeling this, you know, you're just not feeling good about lending money to a friend for whatever reason. Remember, you don't have to justify this. And there are no other alternatives for helping out your friend. You've discussed it. There's really nothing uh, left to do. That's okay too. And here's what I would say to put it to a finish. I'm really sorry about your situation. I wish that I could help by lending you the money, but I just won't be able to do this right now. If there is another way down the road where I can support you, please come to me. I want to know. I want to be able to help. Keep it short. Keep it respectful. Remember that your friend probably had to work his or her way up to asking you for this loan. It took some courage. So a gentle letdown is always best. I'm not going to lie, it may still feel awkward to decline a friend, but if you knew in your gut that this was what was best for you and your friendship, then I'm going to tell you right now, it was the right move. For more videos like these, hit that subscribe button and let us know if you've ever been in a situation where you've borrowed or lent money to a friend. How did it go? Share that with us in the comments. And of course, subscribe, like, share, all of it. We welcome it. For more videos, stick with us here. I'm Farnoosh Tarabi.